OK, let's explain just how popular Dua Lipa is right now. 45 billion streams, three Grammys, seven Brit Awards and all seven of her upcoming Australian concerts have completely sold out, so she's just added an eighth. And Sunrise Showbiz correspondent Steve Hargrave sat down with Dua ahead of her upcoming tour. Watch me dance, dance the night away. No one can do a party like Dua does a party. And now she's bringing her Radical Optimism tour to Australia for even more dates. And she's so excited, she wanted to jump on a call with Sunrise to celebrate. Good morning, Dua. Welcome to Sunrise. Good to see you. So good to see you too, Steve. How are you doing? I'm really well. And you, and you know why? Because there's no better way to start the day than with a big dollop of Radical Optimism. Spread on your toast. It's, it's, it's the way to get the day necessary. going. It is. It's It's... Possibly up there with Vegemite on toast. I, I don't know which one's better. Maybe both. Do you know what? I'm I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed to either. I, I, I love I love a bit of Vegemite myself. Exactly. And you know, everybody is now very optimistic for 2025 because you are going to visit Australia. Yes, for these massive shows. And I know you love coming down under, so it must be so exciting. Yeah, it's so exciting. The response has been amazing. We've announced so many more shows. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm so grateful. You know, I love spending time, like you said, um, down under. And you love the Australian crowds. I mean, I always feel like Australian crowds just love it when people make the effort to make that journey and go and play for them. It's just, it's extra special. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And and it, it's just, I'm always met with such incredible energy and, you know, Aussies love to have a good time. And that's what I like to do. Dua's now playing a whopping five dates in Melbourne and three in Sydney. And as any of you who have seen her landmark headline show at Glastonbury would know, it's going to be an unmissable show. Does that blow your mind, the fact that these crowds are getting bigger and bigger everywhere you go? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that's been my, my biggest dream. And also, I feel like I haven't missed a single step. You know, I've really started performing on stages that were really one step above the floor in little pubs and bars and slowly growing into into bigger venues now when you're in australia what have you got you got you've got a couple of days free in between the melbourne and sydney yeah, shows yeah i got a little bit of downtime are you able are you someone who's able to switch off when you have those days off like very easily is it easy to come down from the night before and go right relax i just make an extra effort to make sure that i do things and i think it helps my performance as well you know and the way that i connect with the audience is if i've been to if i've been able also to experience it during the day i don't get to come so often you know um so when it's the tour i like to make the most of it is of course a real life radical optimist. She's talked loads about how she believes in manifesting her dreams. And in her decade in pop, so many dreams have already come true. People are obsessed with you manifesting your dreams. You manifested that Glastonbury appearance, of course, which she stormed it, absolutely. I want to know, what are you manifesting now? Mainly because I could go and put a bet on it, maybe, because you seem to be very good at manifesting things. I'd like to think I'm quite powerful with my manifestations. <laughs> now we're going to do really well in these shows in Australia. Those are going to be really, really fun. Unfortunately, it is a lot about keeping them to yourself until they come true. You know, it's like making a wish and then someone goes, what did you wish for? And you go, I can't tell you. <laughs> I've got a few things that I've been manifesting, so we'll see. We'll see what happens and then I'll let you know. Just whisper it. It's just between you and I. There's no cameras. I know. No I one's can't. watching. I can't. I can't because what if it doesn't come true? I can't. I it can't it, be it, thinking it, like that. I can't <laughs> think like that. It is like when you blow blow your candles out on your birthday. And you're like, don't. Yeah. You can't tell anyone. Can't what tell you anyone. It doesn't come true. I got you. Now, Dua Lipa is cheering Australia in March. Tickets for her fifth and final Melbourne concert go on sale this morning at 10am. All the rest are sold out. And I always like to value add with a bit of extra information. Uh, guys, so the average human has 32 teeth. Dua Lipa has 33. Wow. That's a fun wow, fact. Come yeah. on. So just use that at your next dinner party. That's amazing. What a, amazing. What a research there, Mondas. I don't know what to say about that. It's fascinating. But thank you. We appreciate thank it. You. All right, there are